uh, sequel murder mystery. Can you find who done it? Uh, a crime has taken place and the detectives need your help. The detective gave you the crime scene report, but you somehow lost it. You vaguely remember that the crime was a murder that occurred sometimes between this date and that it took place in Sequel City. Start by retrieving the corresponding crime scene report from the police department's database. Use your knowledge to find out who committed the murder. We could begin, it says, by retrieving the corresponding crime scene report. Let's just do a quick select and see if it brings back everything. Let's run it. We will go um, select from a crime scene report, and this is going to be date is equal to 2018, a 0, 1, and then a 15. Okay, so that's for our date. So the first one we had was, it occurs on this date, and it took place in SQL City. City is equal to, and then we're just going to name this SQL City. Uh, type is just going to be equal to a murder. And I believe we can start by running this one. And you can tell I am a bit rusty here. So we're going to go and, and then we're going to come right here. We're going to go and, and we're going to run it. Okay. Okay. The second witness named Annabelle lives somewhere on Franklin Drive. So let's take some of the select statement that we were using a bit earlier. Second though. So select asterisk from person. Address street name is going to be equal to our Northwestern Drive, right? So let's take this and let's go right here. Uh, let's run this one. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Order by ASC. And let's see what we've got over here. So uh, great. Okay. Uh, in ascending order, the last house is actually going to be this person, Morty. Okay, uh, so that takes care of the first person. We know where they're at. First witness lives there. Second witness named Annabelle lives somewhere on Franklin Drive. And uh, name equals this, and this is also going to be the street address, I believe. Yeah, tag, uh, and that's going to be Franklin Avenue. Okay, is everybody with me? We know this one is right, though, because Annabelle also lives over here on Franklin Avenue, right? This obviously will make it a bit easier knowing what the database schema is because we know how we can manipulate it and do stuff like that. So we can search over in the driver's license based on the ID. Uh, the ID here is this little thing right here. This is the primary key, right? So you can go, uh, we got a primary key here and this one. So it means that the ID that we just had, um, these two, since these two kind of like link up to each other, we can go into the driver's license database and just do a search on ID and get a whole pile of information uh, a back from them is going to be equal to the ID that we pulled down earlier. So it would be this one. So let's go copy. And this one was declared as an int where license L I C E N S E ID is equal to this number. So the license ID is this number for Morty. Let's copy it and let's paste it in here. Uh, right now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to pull down uh, the driver's license information for these two people because we need to know where they're at, where they live, um, and all of that other fun stuff. So we have Morty's, and now what we're going to do is we're going to drop in uh, this other person called Annabelle. Annabelle, uh, it's a she, uh, 35 years old, and drives a Toyota we have check-in dates. So this one right here already looks interesting to me. This one. Because uh, if we know what date that they checked in, because we know the date, um, we might can see if they were actually in there. 
Uh, so far for this one, I didn't really see much in the Facebook. Uh, this was obviously is going to be linked over to uh, our Get Fit. And interview, we don't really know what's in this one yet. Apparently, they may have done some sort of uh, investigation uh, into them. This on Get Fit Now member. And what are we looking for? We're going to be in here. We're going to look for where the person ID is equal to this thing. So we're going to go person, P-E-R-S-O-N, uh, underscore ID. Let's try, we'll see what this one's going to give us. This person, uh, the first person, which was a Morty, remember he's 64. And so Morty does not have a membership over here in the, uh, in the gym fitness place. So I think that is why we didn't get anything back uh, from that one. Yet, on the other hand, uh, Annabelle is a 35-year-old female, did, uh, was able, uh, already has a membership. So, inside of this, and you can see, so the names match up. We have Annabelle. This is our Annabelle Miller that we've had. And so we have Annabelle there, and there was nothing that came back from Morty that is also running on the person ID, which is the same thing as the ID that we had before. So let's take this, uh, and we're going to go to a Facebook event check-in. And let's scroll down here, and let's take this one. And we're going to do, we can use that same person ID uh, that we just had before. So let's copy this one. We got a little bit of information here. The date here was 2018-01-15. So it says right here, I know uh, the chat may be over it, but January 15, 2018. And look what we have down here. We have, uh, they checked in on Facebook at this time. So if Annabelle checked in over here at this time, then what about our other good friend, uh, Morty? Yeah, hang on just a second. So this was for Morty, and then this one right here was for Annabelle. So Annabelle right here, and we know uh, Annabelle is 16371. Uh, so we'll just reset. I've already copied it, and then we'll just run it. Annabelle was at the same event, same event name, at the same exact date. Uh, we're going to select everything again from Get Fit Now check-in. And this one's just going to be a simple uh, membership ID. And let's see what it comes back from here. So let's a check-in date, a check-in time, and then a check-out time. Okay, let's go to the interview table over here. We're not done yet. Let's go to the interview table. And let's... Uh, I think, let's go interview, interview, and we're going to go where, and this time we're going to go back over to the person ID, person ID, so we can take this one, we can go this one for Morty, we'll run it, ah, look right here, now we got something going on here, so let's do one more really quick for uh, Annabelle, so Annabelle's right here, Let's see what she said in her interview process. Uh, oh, -hoo, we got even more information. All right, so both of these people have been interviewed and then saw a man run out. He had a Get Fit Now bag. The membership owner on the bag started with 48Z. Only gold members have those bags. Said, I saw the murder happen and I recognized the killer from my gym when I was working out last when i was working out last week on january the 9th and we're going to do a select asterisk from fit now member which is right here and this is just going to be gold g-o-l-d and we are going to check and we are going to see and i believe we're actually going to get a couple of people back uh we're going to paste this one in we're going to run Ooh uh, it says they got into a car with a plate, I'm sorry, H42W. 
and this is going to be driver's license. So let's take a like, and we're going to use um, a percent sign there to get uh, kind of our wild card. Let's reset. Let's come back in here. Let's run it. Hey, look what we got is, is that I now have three additional people here. Uh, we're going to select everything from person where license ID, L-S-E-N-S-E -E underscore ID. Okay, so we know we've got a Jeremy Bowers. We also want to see who is this. So let's take this one. Okay, okay, okay. So we've now got two different people that maps to the person in our our table here um, and now for the get fit member we can look at the person ID see this person ID here so get fit member now let's do a get fit member and where the person ID equal to we can copy it we can go right here now member Okay. Hey, look, we've got a gold, another gold member here, which is exactly what we've been looking for. Okay. We got a gold member there. That's good to know. And let's try this one right here. I use aliases. So yeah, you can use um, aliases just to make things a bit easier. We both have Jeremy Bowers right there. And then we have Jeremy Bowers over here. So this person is looking like a prime suspect. So get fit now. And we're going to go check in where the membership ID here is going to be equal to the ID of that last member. Membership ID is text. So let's change that to a text field. So 48Z. And then it says the membership on the back started with 48Z. Is, they are a gold member. Person ID is equal to, and let's go right here, reset. And what do we have here? Um, I was hired by a woman with a lot of money. I don't know her name, but she's around 5557. She has red hair and drives a Tesla Model S. I know that she attended Sequel Symphony Comfort three times in December. Make is equal to like. L-I-K-E, and we're going to put a uh, percent sign in front of Tesla, and let's just uh, let's just take that. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, Teslas, no D-E-L, and that's just going to be equals. We can narrow it down pretty quick uh, from this. Let's reset. Yeah, so there actually there's not that much data in this database run it and uh, now we narrow down our options a bit uh, let's go gender and let's go equals uh, female okay so we've got four people here that's a female that drives the tesla they also drive a mo uh, model s uh, it's been narrowed down and this is again hope hopefully this person is actually telling the truth right event name and we're going to go 20180109. So can we do a, all I really want is just the social security number. We're going to go see if they've got any money. Here, run it. Take some of the load off. Let's take this next one. And let's see what we get back from this one. Let's go here. And then finally, let's take, let's go over here. We're going to reset. We're going to run this again. And we've got three social security numbers. Um, select asterisk from income where SSN and paste here. So let's take all this text. Let's reset again. Let's run it. Uh, this one's pulling down some pretty good cash. This one's at two hundred and seventy-eight thousand dollars. Uh, this person is making three hundred and ten, so they're a lot higher than that other one was. It doesn't look like this person came back with anything. All right, so what do you think? You think we want to just try try this person? I mean, I'm sure there's probably a lot more that we could look at. All right, did you find the killer? Insert into solutions values. One, insert the name of the person you found here. 
I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. Hey, guess what? I did it. Congratulations. You found the brains behind the murder. Everyone in Sequel City knows you as the greatest detective of all 